Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to today's video. I know it's been a long time since I've actually talked with the camera. And so I'm here with Jason and we're heading over to New Milford and we're going to do a recon ride uh, of the event that we are, uh, we've signed up for in late July. And it's not going to be the full route that we're doing. We're actually shortening the route today because um, it's my active recovery week. Um, so the route is about 40 miles with 3,000 feet of climbing and we're taking the Lauf Anywhere bike. That's, we're gonna, that's what we're going to be using for uh, the event. So yeah, we'll just uh, head out over there and check out what the part of the route is going to look like. Um, it's not going to be the full route because the real, the full route is about 70 miles with 4,000 feet of elevation gain. We will be doing a chunk of that climbing in the shorter distance that we're doing today. So yeah, heading over to New Milford, um, we're going to start off at River Road and uh, yeah, excited to show you guys this recon ride. And just like that, all kitted up and ready to go. I know I'm kind of overdressed right now with the long sleeve jersey and the neck gaiter, um, but I find that it's a little bit more comfortable to start off the ride warm and then just peel off the layers as we go, um, as we keep riding. So the setup that I have, as I mentioned, is my Lauf Anywhere bike. Uh, this is the gravel bike that I will be using for the event. And we're here, we're starting off on River Road. You could see the dirt road behind me. It is relatively flat, uh, beginning part, there's a downhill and then it keeps, um, it's just an undulating uh, terrain. So the first segment of this ride will be about three miles of gravel until we hit nice paved roads. Uh, and then we head over to Scattercook, which is relatively flat, but it's also gravel. Uh, yeah, nice day. Try not to spend a whole lot of time inside, especially when the temperatures are starting to get warm. And uh, because it's been warm, I've been able to just, uh, we've been able to just been riding outside and we put in like 10 hours of riding during spring break and 278 miles on our legs. Uh, this is the recovery week. Um, so, uh, let's see how the legs do. Looks like there's a car coming. Up ahead. For some reason, every time I ride this, I, I ride this bike, there's always like a notification that says low battery. Yeah. I wonder, yeah, I don't know what that means. I changed the batteries on both bikes on the power meter. It's because they they may have regraded this road after uh, after winter, but it feels so runner. 
it feels a little uh, more comfortable to ride on. Yeah, the road the road doesn't feel too bumpy, and it's it's not it's not as bumpy as last time we were on here. Right? Oh my God, this road is so smooth with the white tires. Oh Why do my tires look like they're wobbling? Stop for a second. Just want to fix my handlebar. <laughs> the roads are so buttery smooth with these tires. a left turn. I know this is, do you want to stop? Where do you want to stop to uh, refuel on Scatapook? Yeah, I think Scatapook is good. Hopefully I'll have enough battery for my, uh, whew, far back. I can hear it. Hopefully I have enough battery for my, um, Wahoo. I've noticed that it's been draining a lot quicker lately. Well, I, I brought the external battery, so... I wonder if that's why my legs and knees are bothering me on this bike. Probably because my my seat isn't hot enough. So we're now on Scattercook Road. Um, we're actually going in the opposite direction. We're going that way. So um, we are going to follow this road and further down is going to be the Kent School, the private school, and then we're going to head over to Macedonia State Park. Uh, we did have to stop a couple of times. Uh, I had to adjust my seat a little bit for some reason. It felt like it was lower. So I adjusted it a little bit more, hopefully 
it's uh, at the um, right height. Um, I also had to adjust my um, my handlebar because it looked like when I when we were riding on the um, paved road, it looked like it was a little crooked a little bit, so I had to adjust that. So we had to stop a couple of times, and now the uh, the route that I had planned um, is not loading onto our Wahoo, so I do have the long route up. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I, as long as we have, I have a map to follow on the way back home because I know that the road that we'll be using to come back up um, is new. At least that longer route is loaded and uh, we can just follow parts of it. Um, again, sorry guys that you can hear, <coughs> you can um, hear all that wind noise. I just didn't have the um, microphone um, properly uh, charged last night and this morning I woke up and I or I just when we got to River Road I checked it and it was drained so no external microphone and I'm sorry that you have to hear the wind noise average speed 13 that's not too bad yeah that's pretty good actually I'm telling you I think it's a tubeless setup it's like making it a little bit more like of an easier cushion yeah it's, it's like so, it's like a more supple it's a term i guess supple yeah i don't cushion. i don't know if it's that or a combination of that and the road is in better condition but right yeah. like last time we were on here i felt like there were a lot more potholes and like or at least it felt that way yeah. and i had to like s stop pedaling a lot more to like avoid them or yeah. to like you know to go to get off the saddle to go over them and so far you can pretty much just keep pedaling on this uh gravel hey guys haven't uh talked to you for a little while it was a few months of uh indoor riding during the winter we just recently started riding a lot more out outdoors and um as joy joy probably mentioned earlier uh we're doing a gravel ride today sort of reconning part of the the route for this Macedonia gravel grinder event that we're doing later this year. And um, we we did a lot of riding uh, about a week ago while Joy was on spring break. Um, one thing that happened this week is I turned 40 on Thursday, um, went for a nice 40 mile ride to sort of celebrate that. Joy had to work that day. She wasn't able to take it off because uh, school is in session. So that was, um, you know, I would have ideally liked to to do my 40th birthday ride with her. Um, but we did ride a lot together the week before. And we did a, a century ride and then, you know, a few other uh, longer rides. And uh, so I, I really treated that whole week kind of as my my birthday celebration so that was real fun uh today the weather is a little chilly but um it's it's sunny and uh i think it should warm up a little bit and at least be comfortable uh so looking forward to using the gravel bikes again haven't um haven't rode them in a, a little while because we just got new road bikes and uh been riding those mostly but we'll see how this uh how this ride goes it's um it's a good amount of gravel which i haven't i've never really done a ride that has a lot of gravel riding before so this this is kind of getting our feet wet in that area this feels a lot better I wonder if it was like just too low before. Alright, we're now approaching the park. They said ticks are supposed to start coming out. This 
this is like such a such a uh, gradual climb. It's almost like not even a climb. Like two percent grade. This road almost doesn't even feel like gravel. I mean, there's a bump here and there, but it's pretty smooth overall. Yeah, we're making a, let's see. Uh, straight? Oh, right. Oh, boy. Yeah, right turn here. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is a climb, by the way. This road. Bet you this is a segment. Oh, I'm gonna move over to the left here. Twenty-three miles into the ride, uh, we did find our way. We're heading back now. Um, these are actually pretty nice gravel roads. Um, a lot better than when we started riding in winter, uh, well, February. So I'm going to try to make this quick because the battery, um, I'm having battery issues, so it's going to die soon. Hopefully I can find, I can try to salvage uh, another battery from Jason and try to get the um, the steep downhill that we'll be going down and into River Road, River Road uh, of Kent. And there's a couple of river roads here in Connecticut, but this one is in the town of Kent. Um, and and the, we end the ride at River Road in New Milford. All right, see you guys. <laughs> 